We heard your feedback, we listened, and we know you want to know how to replace the gasket on your Baratza Encore coffee grinder, so we're going to show you how to do that today on FrenchPressCoffee.com. Now a quick note, this method is going to work for the Baratza Virtuoso and Virtuoso Plus as well as the Baratza Encore grinder. When you first unbox it, you're going to find a number of items in the uh, grounds container. And one of those is going to be your gasket. It looks like this. And the gasket when new is not going to be as malleable as it will be with a little bit of time. And so if you need to pull your gasket off down the road, it'll probably be a little easier to work with. But initially, when you're first placing, you might have a little bit of difficulty, and we'll show you how to do that. Now, your bean hopper will not be attached to your Encore when you first take it out of the box. I just had this placed here, but it will not be attached. What you will find inside of the Encore is going to be your inner burr. And the inner burr is going to line up with a red line that you will see right here on the inside of the Encore's burr uh, section where, the, where you're actually going to grind your coffee. So there's a red dot or a red mark here and that lines up with the inside. Now I'm going to show you how you can place this gasket with this inner burr taken out and it just slides right out. It doesn't screw in or anything like that. It just sits right inside of the Encore and the red mark on the inner burr lines up with the red line. I'm going to show you how to do this with it out of it, but then I'm going to show you how you're probably going to do it, which is with that burr inside of the unit. And here's the reason why. The rubber gasket likes to slip off fairly easily from this inner burr. Uh, it's not always going to stay in place. Even though it is made of rubber, it's not incredibly sticky rubber. But if you take your time to place it, you'll be okay. You'll notice on the gasket you have two notches, and these two notches line up with that same mark I was talking about, the red mark. They line up with one of those and then the identical plastic wing that's right here on the other side. So these notches slide just over that little plastic wing. But what you're going to find is you can't just push it down because if you line up one notch and then just try and push down the other side, it's going to be a little hard to get it to lock down. So here's what we do. Take your gasket and push it down as firmly as you can just snug over that wing and then holding it in place with your thumb from your whichever is your dominant hand whichever you were placing the gasket with hold this in place push back a little bit and kind of use your other hand and thumb to hold that in place kind of like this and then pushing with your fingers you can sort of place the other edge of the gasket and this is going to take a little bit of stretching and you can see now, sort of using this claw hand method to get the whole thing into place. And the key here is that I want to get the gasket to fit over both of these little wings and those notches will slide up and over it. So I know that that might seem a little fidgety to do, but I've kind of found that using your hand a little bit like this to expand the gasket out and then hold it in place with your other hand, you'll be able to get that notch on and then you can sort of just nudge the other one over and get it into place. Now, if you manage to get it on that way, you can't just simply grab the gasket and hold it. If you do that, the gasket is going to come off. Again, it doesn't stay in place just because it's rubber. You know, we're used to rubber being non-slip. It should keep things in place. Not really the case with this. So if you manage to get it on that way and you have the burr out, I have found a trick, which is you can take your two fingers and just kind of put them inside of this burr and hold it like this. You can see I'm just holding it. And now I'm going to line up the red wing with the red line and just kind of drop the burr down and see if I can do this 
without touching the gasket. I know that's a little fidgety. I <laughs> can understand how that could be a little hard to do, so that's okay. I'm also going to show you how to do this with that burr inside of the Baratza Encore. But if you manage to get it done the way that I just did it, this is a way to do it. Once you've done that and you've placed it, just make sure that it's staying in place, which it is. It hasn't slid off anywhere. Once you've done that, you can take your bean hopper and of course, make sure it's empty of beans because it's gonna be a lot easier. On your bean hopper, you'll find a white line. This line is what you use to set your grind level. So I'm gonna take that white line and in order to place the bean hopper, I need to put it just a little bit past the 40 mark. I'm gonna press down until I feel it lock into place and I can hear that click. That means it's in place. The gasket will not go anywhere now. So unless you take your bean hopper off, you should be good to go. But let's face it, you're going to have to take your bean hopper off from time to time. You need to clean your burrs. You need to clean your bean hopper, whatever that may be. So you're probably going to end up having to move this gasket from time to time. So here's the second method without having to take that inner burr out. We're going to do roughly the same thing. We're going to just kind of stretch out just a little bit the gasket. And remember, if it's new, it's not going to be as malle it's not going to be as malleable, malleable, excuse me. You'll have to stretch it a little bit. Stretch it out with your fingers and then start. I like to start on the little red wing right there cuz it's just a good target. All right. So now I've placed it there on the red one, and I'm just going to take my fingers, expand this out just a little bit. And in this case, I'm using my thumbs a little less, as you can probably see, but I'm just using my left hand to hold this gasket part down as best as I can to keep it in place, stretching, and then I slide over the other wing of the inner burr. And now it's in place and it should stay. Now, the one thing I'm going to mention as well is that you may find again, when this gasket is new, that even if you stretch it up and you do it like that, it'll have a tendency to start sliding up. Just hold it down for a few moments. Just press down, press down. As long as it stays in place, take your bean hopper again, white line right there. Pop it down at just past the 40 mark. There's a little arrow just past 40. Line it up with that, press down a little bit, and turn. You got to give it a little bit of press in order to get this down because that gasket makes a really good seal. That gasket makes sure that coffee grounds don't fly everywhere, it keeps things clean. Uh, so it's doing its job if you have to press down a little bit and then turn. But once you've got it in place again, you're good to go, the gasket will stay in place and you should be set to start grinding coffee. So that's two methods. You should go with the one that you're most comfortable with. Uh, I've found that probably ultimately after you've used the machine a little bit, it's gonna be easiest to just put the gasket on with the burr in place. But when it's brand new, it's probably gonna be a little easier to take that burr out and use that other method, the claw hand method as I was talking about, to stretch it out and over the burr and get it into place. Now, if you have problems with your gasket, if it's getting old, you misplace it, it starts to stretch out too much, it breaks, whatever that may be, which can happen with time, you can get a replacement gasket at frenchpresscoffee.com. Just go to our website and you can get your replacement gasket. And uh, you may want to pick up a couple of them just so you have an extra one or two. Follow the instructions that I've just shown you here and you should be able to get that gasket in place and keep grinding some great coffee. So there you have it, everyone. That is how to replace and set the Baratza Encore and also Virtuoso and Virtuoso Plus gasket that sits just below the bean hopper. I hope you found this useful. I would love to hear what your favorite method for grinding coffee is. Are you using a Baratza? Are you using hand grinding? What's your favorite? Tell us in the comments. And of course, take a look at FrenchPressCoffee.com to find great ways to grind coffee and lots of coffee gadgets, tools, and more at FrenchPressCoffee.com. As always, everyone, I'm Brian with FrenchPressCoffee.com. I'll see you next time and take care. Did you love that video? Give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. If you do, I'm going to give you an awesome coffee quote. Don't worry, I can wait. I've got awesome coffee candy. FrenchPressCoffee.com sells these too, guys. Right there. Got it? All right. Forever. That's how long it takes to brew your first pot of coffee in the morning.